if the nitrogen stays in the month too long, so it's, remember, it's m over minus 300 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so you get frostbite right away. I would recommend not to do it at home because it's really, really cold and can be dangerous. We always try to increase the interest of people in science so, and, uh, and also show that science and physics can be very difficult, but they can be also very entertaining. So the liquid nitrogen is very cold, so the temperature is over minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So what happens is that we breathe nitrogen because it's in the air, 70% of the air is, is, is nitrogen. But this is so cold that it actually becomes liquefied. So when I, I take a balloon and I put it inside the liquid nitrogen, the air inside the balloon also becomes very cold and starts liquefying. And so the balloon deflates, and when I take it out and it becomes goes back to the normal temperature, it will inflate again. So uh, you can put a balloon inside and outside, it will shrink, but it will go back to the original shape. This is called the Van der Graaff generator. So what it does is to take uh, electric charges from uh, the bottom of the instrument and puts them on this big uh, metal bowl. Mm -hmm. And uh, electric charges keep accumulating there. So if somebody puts their hands on, the, on, the, on, this, on this bowl, the electric charges will go through their body. And uh, of course, you cannot accumulate more than a certain amount of charges. So charges will try to go away. And the easiest way they can go away is through your hair. So they will make your hair rise. <laughs> This is physics that you do every day in your, in your life. It's just that you can see at work life. And it's better than being in front of the TV, right? This is, this is something that you can do with your hands. <laughs>